DaVinci Resolve was launched into public beta on April 4th, 2025. Today is May 27th, 2025. And the full release of DaVinci Resolve 20 was just announced. I'm downloading it now. Oh, I'm finished. Maybe finished installing it. Ooh, oh. I'm completely blown away by the speed of this turnaround, less than two months. Um, it's much faster than we've seen from Blackmagic Design in the past, and we might actually have a hint why. We heard from the CEO of Blackmagic Design, Grant Petty, at that NAB announcement that for the last several years, they've had lots of other stuff going on with Resolve. They needed to do a tremendous amount of work when the Apple uh, Silicon chips just came out. And then just recently, we also had the uh, Windows ARM system that also required a lot of work to resolve. But if all hands being on deck for the DaVinci Resolve team means that this is like the kind of pace that they want to be working at, it's incredible. Public beta to full release in under two months. Now I had big plans to eventually make a video that would be for this full release. I was going to go back over a lot of the really cool updates in this specific version, but with this surprise announcement, I'm going to walk through how you can uh, find out a bit more info and then also push you over to my video when the beta first came out. I went over the most exciting things to me. And here I have installed this. You can see down in the corner, DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. It no longer has that little public beta tag because this is just DaVinci Resolve Studio 20. As always, an incredible place for info uh, on anything Resolve is over on the Blackmagic Design support page. If you don't wanna update through Resolve, this is where you can go to grab these downloads. But I also want to specifically call out, if you haven't paid too much attention, just as it's been in beta, in this middle support notes area, if you scroll down just a little bit, you will get to the DaVinci Resolve 20 new features guide. This is a great quick resource for all those new and exciting features. It gets into general improvements and new features. Uh, it also has these notes of what is studio version only. That's super helpful. My video walkthrough when uh, version 20 went into beta, I also put little tags on screen for whether these features were studio only. Um, lots of viewers found that helpful. And since I did make that video and we've really only had minor tweaks and changes since, if you want my overview of what is new and exciting in DaVinci Resolve 20, uh, that will absolutely be in the description along with a link to the support page I showed off here. We've got lots of AI tools especially AI around different aspects of audio. I want to do a video talking about AI in Resolve soon um, because the one big thing that we don't have in Resolve here is that generative AI tool that they showed off in the presentation. They said it was coming at a future date and that it would be a sort of like paid extra. We still don't have a lot of info on that. Uh, but something like that, I've already seen a lot of conversation about the existing AI tools here in Resolve 20. Something like that, that kind of AI coming into Resolve, I think will get a lot of people talking. Maybe for better or for worse. But the AI tools we did get are very exciting. That voice convert is pretty mind blowing. We have that IntelliCut. You can split up one recording of two people talking and split them into different tracks to process easier. We have an incredible new voiceover tool on the edit and cut page. We have that full keyframes panel on the edit page that tons of people wanted. A new system for word by word animation using fusion titles in Resolve. There is a lot in Resolve 20. When 20 dropped, it was mind blowing and somehow it's just a little, a little extra mind blowing that we got the full release this quick. Now it's hard not to be a little skeptical with the speed of this full release. So as much as people recommend, you know, waiting for a full release to upgrade, I would maybe, maybe wait for one extra release if any new terrifying bug pops up on here. If you don't need to jump on a release, it's always better to wait until you're in the right spot to upgrade. But also there's a lot of cool things in Resolve 20 and the full release is here. If you want it, go for it. And like I called out in a previous video, somehow the Blackmagic Design Facebook page always has not necessarily the most info, but just like, but a slightly more like curated notes around these release. So we have this great quick rundown of what is new in version 20. If you just want to quickly skim this, I will also link to this in the description. If you have been using the beta releases for DaVinci Resolve 20, I would love to know which of these new features that you've already been using have you loved the most. I don't doubt tons of people have been using that keyframes panel on the edit page. That will have a wide appeal. I do really love how simple and effective that voiceover tool is. And I've been doing some stuff in Fusion using like a little sneaky, sneaky little update. Um, it's an on change parameter for like sort of scripting. It's, it's a little more complicated, but for Fusion heads, it's super cool. But mostly I've wanted to put out a quick update for those who might miss this news otherwise, or just want to share in this excitement. Quick updates are always cool. You love watching about like beta four updates. So the full release of version 20, 
it's big news, I gotta talk about it. And if you've gotten this far and somehow you don't know that I make presets and plugins and templates for DaVinci Resolve and I have dozens of free ones available for download over at strongsupply.co, you should absolutely go and check out those there. Of course, also some paid products over there that do some pretty cool things. So if you don't know about that and you're just jumping on the version 20 hype, go check out those. I also talk about them here on the channel, of course. But that's all, DaVinci Resolve 20 is out. I think it's super cool. Hopefully you do too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.